Although this is a Nintendo 64 Rare Rare game, this game is rated M for Mature. This game is not for anyone under the age of 17. The commentary may not reflect this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, welcome to the first extra video of Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. So, I'm going to be releasing two extra videos this week. The first extra video is going to be the multiplayer, um, because I can play the single player technically. And, and the second video will be, um, the second video will be me playing around with the Xbox version of this game, of course. Um... There's also cheats as well. No, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna cheat. And fear I just look around. Anyway, if we're gonna enter multi, because this game pretty much has like a lot of different options here. A lot of different options. There's of course, let's see. There's the skeleton. There's heist, raptor, beach. Race, tank, war. There's a lot of different options. If you click on this one, you'll be able to set up your custom game mode if you want to. Let's try out these other modes. Let's start from left to right, from beach all the way up to race. And there will be time codes in the description if you want to skip to a certain mode, so let's get right into it. Let's start with beach. Now you can be the good guy team or the enemy team. You can also balance the amount of players too. Here for better yet. Hold on, let me set this up. Here, let's just set it to a certain number because I'm not gonna be here all day. Here, let's just set everything up to five. Uh, because I'm not gonna make it a really long video. Obviously, AI will be set to normal because I'm not very good. Let's give it a shot, shall we? And, uh, maybe we'll do each side because they each have their own separate story. So, let's start with the residents. This is the last push. You're on your own from now on. We got you this far, you gotta get yourself up that beach, and you'll be free and dry. Oh, yeah. Good boy, boy. Woe me. Anyway, get your asses up that beach. There'll be a truck waiting for you, and then you'll be able to have that shadow de blanc and that funny shaped bread to your heart's content. Oh, yeah. Just one more thing. I wouldn't hang around for too long up in that beach, because those titties have got a new and secret weapon. We ain't quite sure what it is, but, well, if you hang around, you're probably gonna find out. Ooh, so anyway, so we're the residents, and what we basically gotta do is we gotta start from the beach, and we basically gotta work our way forward. Avoid getting shot. If you get shot, well, you lose. I think it's one hit. No, it's not really one hit. Definitely practice your avoiding skills. Don't get shot too much, otherwise you're gonna die. If you get hit three times, you're dead. You definitely gotta be extra careful here, because these guys are no joke. You basically gotta be a little bit stealthy. <laughs> Trying to avoid the bullets. I do recommend, like, waving around. But man, oh man, they are totally relentless, so it's definitely not easily done. Yeah, you're the attack- 
But anyway, so we need to get... We basically gotta avoid the shots. And there's multiple ways to do that, too. All are not very easy. There's also these little pills. Oh my god. I'm trying to grab these pills. And as I grab the pills, I fall to my death because, like, the jumping mechanic for, like, Simon Belmont on drugs. So. The jumping mechanic for, like, Simon Belmont. And you can't fly on, like, Conquer Wood. There's multiple ways to get around it, but definitely be extra careful. They're the defender for the base. And obviously getting from point A to point B is not going to be an easy feat. You can also sidestep if you could. Oh, come on. Damn it! Right there. No, don't shoot me. Get in there! And there we go. We got one in. Basically, you need to get inside that tunnel without getting shot. Easier said than done. There's multiple paths you can take to do this. But if you fail, because like, I only have one minute left, there's gonna be hell to pay. I'm trying to get the vitamins. The vitamins will increase your speed. But there's no shot up against these guys, because they're going to kill me easily. Alright. I have one more guy left. I have, like, one minute to do this. I can at least get two in, at best. They got a really good shot at you, too. Leave me alone! And I'm dead. Well, game over. As you see, we're all captured. But yeah, you lose this one. Now I'm gonna try the other side. Or, yeah. Let's try the other side. Because there's some more cuts in the show. Okay. Now, as the teddies, you can do a few things. You can either select the turret, or you can select the, uh... You can either select the turret, or you can select the bazooka. One or the other. You definitely need to keep an eye on, uh, guys who are incoming. I know you're behind there. Again, they only take... They only take one hit. 
Well, they only take three hits till they're dead. And like for this mode, uh, only three of them uh, will, uh, only one of them will appear at a time. And you can set this to, you can set this to have multiple players do this if you want to. And keep an eye on this guy. This guy's gonna try a little sneak one. Definitely try not to let him through. But yeah, that's one way. I'm gonna go ahead and take another different way, because why not? You can use a bazooka as well. The thing is, though, it's not going to be easy. Because, like, the one in the middle is, like, not easily done. And obviously make sure you keep an eye out. The only thing that I can't see is the middle, so I'm hoping none of them... Got him. Just like that. Overall, the bazooka is pretty powerful. You can't zoom in with this thing, but you can get a really good number in. You also cannot leave the tower. Other than that, like, being the defender is pretty much the most better advantage for this type of thing. They're probably going to take a completely different approach. Other than that, they're probably going to take the same exact path where I easily got them. But who knows, it might come from a different direction. Oh, one is coming from the top. Got him. And he's gonna fall to his death. Because, like, he has nothing else to do. You know, if this game has online multiplayer, this could be more fun. And maybe the Xbox Live version has, like, online multiplayer. I don't know yet, I'll have to see. Other than that, it is pretty fun. Like, compared to Banjo Kazooie's multiplayer, it can go a long way. And, uh, I pretty much won this round. And just like that. Now, there's one cutscene I didn't show you, so I'm going to show you guys it right now for YouTube. Here we go. Alright, next up is Raptors. Let's see, Infinite. Yeah, let's set to infinite. Actually, let's just set it to five minutes. Let's. I want to kill more. I mean, I guess you can set the score too. AI is normal, so I think all that is set. There you go. Now you can choose to be either the cavemen or the raptors. Let's start with the cavemen. Okay, so as the caveman, your primary weapon is, of course, a bone type of sword. 
That's the only type of weapon you get. You don't get any form of projectile weapon. At best, you got a stick. At best, you gotta defend yourself up against the uh, dinosaurs. And you could fight the dinosaurs, but I'm too fr I'm just too scared to death to even do that. And the dinosaurs could be faster too. <laughs> Sorry, that jump scared me. Even though I saw him coming, he still jump scared me. There is primary weapons too, so I guess you do get some form of projectile. But they're not the best. It's always good to run away from the dinosaurs. And yes, you can de kill one while you're at it. Although you only have a limited supply of these. I do recommend that you do constantly jump to get away from them, but not best gonna come out of it. So I think it's always best to just run. It's always best to just run. Not very easy to win against the dinosaurs. However, we will try to chase you, so that will take the high ground. Luckily, there is multiple ways to get away from something, so you don't have to worry too much. And they can't get up here very well. They can't get up here very well. Definitely try to outsmart the dinosaur, and your main objective is to try to take the eggs. Uh, and killing the dinosaurs is a good bonus. And of course, there is like a baby dinosaur too. Your goal is to take the egg, and try to stay away from the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I could easily jump down, just to completely avoid him. Very dangerous, but worth it. If there's any way to get a head start from a dinosaur, do whatever it takes. Because the dinosaur will just try to get you alive, of course. Make sure to do grab the crossbow, too. Dinosaur is definitely right behind me, and I don't know how to find the nest, so I'm in big trouble. I'm dead. You see, I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm pretty much dead at that point. I don't think I could get out of that. Dinosaur is about to win. So, like, one side has an advantage, the other side just doesn't. I'm gonna try to kill this dinosaur with, with my bat. <laughs> Doable, but not worth it. I think he enjoyed that. I 
There's always one advantage versus, like, something else. Let's try the dinosaur side. I think the chick's hungry. I'll protect the eggs, though. So now we are playing as the dinosaur. Press the B button to ram forward, or you stand still to take a bite. A button to jump. Being the dinosaur is really fun. Overall, most of these most of these enemies have like an advantage. Like, the dinosaur is the most OP. Yeah, die in the fire. I think he's taunting at me. <laughs> One of them's up there. I'm going to take the high ground, Anakin. Very easy. Again, one side has an advantage, the other side also has, like, a disadvantage. So, you overpowered one side, and you gotta take out the other side somehow. But yeah, um, here's a cutscene that is not shown in this video yet. Okay, so next up is Heist, and, um, let's go and take a look at the setup. Set the five minutes. How do I yeah, do that? So, Heist, uh, set the five. There we go. Play. Now, there is... Now, this is a four-player game. There's reds, blues, greens, and yellow. Let's play with blues. Okay, wise guys. Here's the score. Rule number one. My way, or he's a dead mother way. Take your pick. There ain't no more rules. Right. We are robbing the Federal Reserve Bank. At 0830 hours, Eastern Standard Time. Hmm. Here's the joint. You'll notice it's not very well guarded. Take four of the doors, one each. Here are your names. Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue. Mr. Red. Mr. Yellow. And Mr. Green. Once inside, it's every man for himself. Get a weapon or get the money. Preferably both. To get your ashes out of there. Okay. Let's go to work. Yes, Mafia.
Anyway, so your weapon is a bat. And again, you can get more weapons along the way. Your goal is to rob the bank. Or take the money. Hey! You almost blew myself up! Yeah, I'll take that. Hey! I'll take that. Obviously, grab the money and run. Follow the arrows. Trying to figure out what to do from here. Back off. Nobody's gonna get that money. Blew myself up. I got the money out of here. And spread his ass everywhere. I'll take that. They're gonna hit me. Blow them up! It's always good to take out most of the enemies out. Trying to fire, damn it! Red's gonna catch up. I should know Red's gonna let me uh, leave. No one's gonna get that money. It's gonna end in a draw. Where's Red at? Okay, green. They're gonna get me. You can't go any faster with the money in your hand. Like, once you have the money in your hand... Whoa! Yeah, it's gonna end the draw. So, uh... Yeah, that is some fun game of, like, rob the bank.
Yeah, ends in a draw, fortunately. You are my new number one. Come on, tough guy. The drinks are on me. Status, you win? Oh. Oh, okay. So apparently I won. So, alright. Yeah, here's my, your win screen. Here's your, uh, your lose screen, by the way, if there is one. You know, some people have been asking me, Where's Frankie? Where's Chicho? Where's Ali? Where's Polly? Well, I can just say it. I think they gone for a swim. Well, if you're waiting for them, I wouldn't hold your breath. Which is ironic, because I expect that's what they're doing right now. <laughs> right, where's the next job? Next up is war. Now, this can go into two different w different ways. There's total war and colors. I think the difference is the map we play. Obviously, set this to five minutes, because I'm not going to be here for for a decent number of time. Set the score to five in case, like, the game ends quickly. And we're going to do total war for our very first map. You can choose either to be the, uh, the you can choose either to be the Green Guard or the Teddies. So tell you what, for the first map, let's play as the Guard. Okay, guys. Stand up. Right. Find a weapon. And get yourself at it. Defend in this base. Attack in the other base. Or get the enemy canister. Take enemy canister to sewer area. Where you will find a place to insert the canister. Thereby, you want to make sure you find yourself either a gas mask or that central area. Because you don't want to be outside. No, sir. Any questions, boys? Nope. Well, good luck. Ten. Huh. Great guys. Every one of them. And this one's that And the kid and Nanny. Sneak on that bitch. Sting. And I got a sin. We're soldiers. The goal here is to basically grab the canisters. Obviously, it's an open field, so do expect a lot out of it. And I need a weapon. For right now, I don't have a weapon. Oh, never mind, I do have a weapon. I think I have a flamethrower in my hand, so... Overall, the goal here is to grab the canisters. You can also get me on fire. You like that? Now, obviously, gotta take this thing down here. Coming through. I'm probably gonna die. Be not. That's okay. okay. 
Because they're not gonna get a point anyway. Oh, they got a gush. They got a shot in. I'm out of here. See, they're using the sniper status too. So, like, depending on what side you're on, the bear will be on the other side. So, it's always like an even playing field. I'm gonna try to kill someone with a sword. There's one right. There's one right. There's one guy below me. There we go. He dropped himself to me. Also, I could have solemnly swear that I set the settings to 10. No, not to 10, but to 5. But yeah, I'm just gonna easily edit this out. Also, the enemy will not appear on your radar for a little bit. Get wrecked. Other than, other than that, it's pretty much a death match. War is pretty much a death match. There is some liberty for this mode, like say, for this mode, pretty much you have to. Sometimes you're bad aiming, but you know what? Doesn't matter. We won that round. You did a fine job, soldiers. We don't forget about your brothers in arms that did not return today. They were fine men. You win. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to switch to colors, go to setup, make sure this is set correctly. It is set correctly, why is it not doing that? Man, it's broken. This time we'll play as a bear. I think it's the same thing, different map. Okay, listen up! Intelligence has reported that in order to achieve supreme victory against the evil teddy bastards, we have got to demoralize them. They suggest that we steal their colors from here and take it back running like a bat out of hell to here. Whoever goes for the flag, better make sure you have some cover. Okay, snipers? That goes for you guys too. Right. Fall out. And good luck. Okay, so for this map, the rules are different. Instead of, like, getting the gas tank or getting the gas tank and send it to the base, you need now you gotta find the flag and then just send it to the other enemy base. 
This is a capture the flag type of thing. I mean, it's technically the same thing. Well, actually not really, because you're not poisoning anybody with it. Point is, though... I did not want that. I'm gonna get the flag back. If you're not gonna have that flag. Damn it. See, I blamed it on the fucking knives that I got. I didn't want the knives. I want the gun. But this game is bullshit of bullshitters. Now we're gonna take the flag. As you can see, this game is dumb. I did not want the knife, but the game automatically did that, so the game deserves an deserves an F minus. F minus minus. No points for style. Get off my office. I'll see you next week. You can indeed also shoot the enemy. It will not count though. The only thing that does count is when you get the flag. Oh, one hit KO. Boy, is that fun. Careful, they have a sniper, so be careful. Oh. Thinks he could pull a fast one? Well, I'm gonna steal the flag before he gets to. Hopefully I know where the flag is. Where's the flag? I don't know where the fucking flag is, you asshole! Where's the flag? Now I gotta defend it. Now I gotta defend it. Because I have no fucking clue where the flag is. Or how do I obtain it? Here's the thing, the flag does say there, so... They're gonna get the first point, no matter what. Because the flag does not respawn. Although this AI... whatever. I lost this round because I have no idea where, where the flag was. The flag, where it's located, is unknown. And it pisses me off. Whatever. Look at this scum. Get these monsters out of my sight. I don't want to see their faces again. 
Looks like Paris will be ours again before the summer. Good show. See? I have no idea where the flag was. I thought I was in the right spot, but the map is saying otherwise. Whatever. Anyways, here is the other cutscenes that you probably didn't see yet. So next things next is tank. Let's see. Make sure it's set to five minutes. Um, set it to five because I don't want anything. Okay. There's this on-off system. I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna turn them on because I'm not sure. Maybe next game I'll turn it off and see what it does. Now you can also set the map player, but you know what, let's go ahead and do that. How many in here total? One, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think there's seven. Here you not, let's just do three. Okay boy, here's your mission. You gotta get in that tank. Make sure that any of the other enemy in sight are immediately evaporated. Retrieve the chemical weapon from the central silo area. Return, avoiding any enemy activity, to home base. Upon returning, automate the chemical warfare attack, thereby eliminating the enemy. Oh, one more thing. Various pickups align the area. Find them and use them to your advantage. If you don't, the enemy will. Good luck, soldier. Move it out. Roger that, Commander. So now you're driving the tank. It will be like from sort of crazy war with tanks. And especially trying to figure out where everything is and the camera doesn't always like to agree with you. So I think I lost this one. This is a heavily explosive gas. It will eat through your armor very quickly if it's released from the tank. It also kills me. So I'm not even sure what is best for the scenario. Other than that, it's another of these Battle Royale mo type of games, of course. Someone has the chemical plant, so... Sometimes I have no idea where the hell I'm going.
And this is why I suck at Battle Royale games. Shit like this happens. I knocked one out. Sometimes the control is so sensitive, it's impossible to control. You want to control well, but you can't because the game is so limiting. The game is so picky. I want to kill the but I can't. Impossible. Alright, I'm gonna try to pick up one of these power-ups. I think there's like four teams. I'm not sure. See, I'm not good at this game. I suck at this game. So I apologize if I'm if I'm not really good at the game. I'm playing these for pretty much for my very first time. And not a lot of them I know very well. I'm gonna hide in the base. Yeah, well, this is where you have to be in order to stay alive, huh? And I think I lost. Hold on, soldier! You have sustained limited collateral damage. Therefore, you have achieved cost efficiency. The government likes you for that. You also killed a few of those bastards. Well done, sonny. Out. Okay, well, I guess I won. Or stats. Actually, it doesn't say that I won. It says I'm in fourth place, so I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't win. Maybe it's just, like, overall, let's just have fun, blah, 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 blah. Not very much. If there's any more cutscenes, I'll show you guys that, but meantime, going on to the last game mode, it's race. So this one is obviously a race. I have five normal AI. Let's go up to five laps, of course. And uh, there's two types of races. Race A, race B. I think they hold a different type of, like, different type of mechanic because, like, no, they definitely hold the same ones. But, um, you do select one of the cavemen, and, uh, they have all the different hairstyles. Obviously, we gotta do, this one is a surfboard race. So anyway, so this first race is pretty much exactly the same one we played in the single player mode. And you do get power-ups too. And the goal here is to win the race. You have five laps. But if you played, like, the already... If you already played the single player, you pretty much already know what this is. And you can use power-ups to, like, slow down your opponent, too. Definitely stay ahead of the game.
Definitely try to knock out your opponent, too. I don't think they'll die. Maybe they will. Well, I died. If I'm gonna win, I better do some crazy comeback. However, oh, that, like, this attack here... ...will slow him down in some extent. Although I just lost. But you know what, that's okay. We already technically seen this race, so let's try race B. I think it might be different, maybe. It might be different. Or, or it might be slightly the same. We'll have to see. Well, actually, it's technically the same, it's just they changed the track a little bit. I'm dead. If you're gonna catch up, you better take good use of power-ups. Because you're gonna need them. I'm pressing the jump button! Don't bullshit me, asshole! I'm pressing the jump button! But the game likes to bullshit me. Sorry, I'm so mad. I'm gonna lose this race, too. All because, like, certain game mechanics just doesn't exist. And even though I could have sworn I'm doing it right, the game thinks I ain't. And as you can see, I lost. But you know what? I don't care. Because I, all I had to do is I had fun. But, um... Yeah, anyway, so that's pretty much all of the, uh... Main stuff. Now, there's, like, a lot of maps, too. There's, like, a lot of maps. But here's one of the maps I don't think we have done. I don't think we've done bump Bunker yet. But this, let's just do a 1v1. Alright, so we're gonna do a 1v1. I feel like this could work better. Okay. Hey, anyway, so now we're gonna do the 1v1. And, um, so I wanna show this room off a little bit. This is the bathroom, and here you can actually, uh, if you're only in the bathroom only, it won't work anywhere else. But if, you, but if you're in the bathroom, you can pee anywhere. And this could be really good for your opponent. So I'm just gonna wait for my opponent to show up so I can pee on him. So it can't come out of anywhere. Like, seeing that dot in the... Okay, here he comes. And he blew my ass up. Well... Just like that. Well, I just figured I'd just show off that room, because why not? It is like a battle, after all.
Lindsay, being the dumbass he is, blew himself up. He also eliminated himself. The rocket launcher is pretty good. Actually. It's always good to use that against someone. Blow him up. Just hold off now. Yeah, you better run. Take aim. Steady. Steady with a trigger. Take aim. Die. Yeah, that's how I take care of them. And don't do shit like this. That's a no no. Definitely take your cover and just think about how you want to do this. I'm going to wait for him to come to me. Although I probably am not going to win. But you know what? It's okay. Because I'm just here to show off the entire game mode. Whatever. That's okay. Because overall, I'm just here to have fun. And you know what? I think that's up. That's it for today. But um, yeah, that is basically the multiplayer of uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. It has a lot of fun in it, and you guys can totally try it out for yourselves. As always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see the uh, other video, there will be a second extra video will be coming out Friday. As always, Mark one signing out. Have a fantastic night. I'll see you guys for the second extra video where I show off the remake of this game. Peace out, guys.